Hello, it's me, Rick Astley. Just kidding, it's William Osmond, and today we're going to try to burn record into... <laughs> try to burn music? No. Yeah. We're gonna try to burn music into things using the laser beam on things that shouldn't have music engraved into them. Did that make any sense? I found this broken record player in the trash a couple months ago, but uh, I don't know if it really works. It kind of works. The needle is broken, so we bought a new one for like 18 bucks which is kind of expensive since I found this in the garbage. So we'll put this on and see if it works. And our thrift store music choices for testing the record player are Engelbert Humperdinck, Engelbert Humperdinck, and Engelbert Humperdinck, Dink, Humperdinck, Humperdinck. <laughs> Engelbert Humperdinck. Who names their kid Engelbert when their last name's already Humperdinck? That's working. Oh. Sounds like a broken record. <laughs> We fixed the record and then broke it again by ghetto rigging it. Apparently someone's been in there before trying to fix it, which is probably why it's in the trash. We're going to use the laser in a little bit of a different setup than you might think to cut music onto records. And here's an example of someone having done it to a tortilla. Uh, digitally where they generated a cut file based on the audio on the computer and then sent it to the laser cutter What we're gonna do is put a speaker on the cutting head The head will vibrate while the disc spins while the laser is on and cut the waveform Into whatever we choose to use as a record. We got what might just be the jankiest dollar store speaker 50 millimeters per minute It seems to have a path. It put a bunch of crap on the nozzle, though. That's weird. Fuzz. Maybe it's from the cardboard? All right, so let's unplug it from the phone, plug that in, and then no He-Man here. Not even the slightest hint. I had a feeling that was gonna happen. We'd have to get like a really big speaker, probably, and hang it off there to get any noticeable effect. I have a plan B that's more effort. We're gonna make a little mount to uh, hold the speaker and the lens on the laser. I have no idea. Um, well, I'm not even gonna tell you. I have no idea what's going on. Oh, that doesn't look right. Okay, anyways, what's gonna happen is the speaker is going to be attached to the lens holder. The lens is gonna be removed from the lens holder and held in place with probably hot glue onto a, a thin piece of acrylic with these tiny, tiny little flexible hinges. So the louder we play music to the speaker, the more it flexes, the more the beam will move and the louder or the larger the amplitude in the record will be. Or this doesn't work at all and all I've said is just a bunch of bull crap. Oh, oh, that was dumb. That was dumb. All right. <laughs> I feel like it's just gonna explode. This is some rage quit territory. Uh huh. Ah! Uh, okay. uh. Fourth time's a charm. Well, a piece of acrylic. Yeah. Let's cut that way down. The column for the nozzle needs to go in first. So I gotta now undo what I done did. Because the instant I mess this up, I have to cut a new one. And we have to take everything apart to cut a new one. Ah! No! <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. Today was going much better 45 seconds ago. Ah, and I took the lens out. <laughs> All right, let's find something better than acrylic. Some Delrin. I don't know if we can hot glue to Delrin, though. Okay, now we're cutting Delrin, a plastic which tends to melt kind of badly on a laser. Yeah, it looks pretty good. The problem with Delrin is nothing sticks to it, so I don't know if hot glue is gonna work or not. Oh, yeah, 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 this'll work well enough. We just need it to kind of hold in place. This is such a dumb idea. Let me see how much that lens cost. $50. If this breaks, I'm gonna cry. So which part of the speaker actually moves? It's the whole thing, right? I gotta go down a little bit. I should hot glue the rest of this thing together. I have no idea if this is gonna work. I have a feeling that it's not.
No trace of He-Man. <laughs> this can be done, but we're just not moving the beam enough. Does bending the lens, maybe bending the lens doesn't do anything. I'm not an optics guy. Bending the lens does have an effect, but I don't think we're bending it enough. Do we need a bigger speaker? Does shifting it left and right have an effect? Ooh, what if we do that? Back to the drawing board. Version two moves the lens horizontally instead of rotating it. I thought rotating it would have a bigger effect. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm right. I have no idea. Let's experiment. I got Ugly is a terrible, terrible, terrible thing. The moment of truth. Oh, yes. Oh my god, it works! Yes! You can only hear the really low frequencies. Dude, I need to listen to that. Oh no, what are you doing, record player? No. No, we're gonna listen to that again. This totally is gonna work, and I think we can do a better job. The reason you can only hear the low frequencies is because there's too much mass that we're trying to vibrate. You know, trying to vibrate something that really, like, really quickly takes a lot of energy. What day of filming is it? it smells like day four. The next thing we're gonna try is cutting away the speaker so that there's less air being pushed by the speaker and all the energy or most of the energy goes into the mass. Because we don't actually care if this makes any noise, we just want it to move our lens. All right, now let's try playing some He-Man again, full volume. Uh, I think this is gonna work way better. You see how much it's moving? What we've done to the speaker is we've reduced the load on the coil. Kind of like you're driving up a hill in your car and you throw your passenger out. I haven't made this very clear, but the previous tests we've been cutting onto a cardboard from a cereal box. Oh, you can hear it. You can hear He-Man. Oh my god. Dude, this is, we have He-Man in there finally. Now we're going to burn music onto a CD. Iron, iron, irony, irony. This is irony. What is it? I don't know what you call this. Stupid. There we go. I think it's just stupid. Go. God, that smells really bad. Yeah, the high end is just completely muffled. We cut one of the hinges off um, to reduce that sort of mechanical resistance. Ah, everything gone horribly wrong. The lens is good, I cleaned it, it all came off. But if you were running this at a higher power for longer, that would absorb a lot of the energy and put it into the lens and you'd burn your lens up. Really? quits my house smells like acrylic and we cut way too much stuff uh, if you want a CD leave a comment if you've got a project suggestion leave another comment or leave it in the same comment I don't care more comments is more better see you next time Uh-huh.